A sheriff in Georgia has been suspended after the governor, uh, Nathan Deal, uh, decided to suspend him following uh, the sheriff signing off on the search of 900 high school students uh, while police officers were looking for drug paraphernalia. No drug par paraphernalia was found. However, uh, these students were on lockdown for hours. Uh, their cell phones were taken away from them. And uh, the searches were much more invasive than what you would expect. Uh, and so uh, a grand jury did indict uh, the police officer that I'm talking about, the sheriff. His name is uh, Jeff Hobby. And uh, two deputies in connection with the search at Worth County High School. Hobby faces two counts of false imprisonment, one count of sexual battery, a charge of violating his oath of office. Uh, now, according to the lawsuit, Hobby arrived at the school with a target list. He's looking for students who have drugs on them. Target list of 13 students that he suspected of having drugs. Only three of the listed students were at school that day, and Hobby had them brought to the administrative offices and searched. Um, but that wasn't good enough for him. He decided... No, I want to go ahead and search 900 students. Think about what a gigantic waste of time and resources that is. They didn't find any drugs, no drug paraphernalia whatsoever, besides which, really, you're going to focus all your attention on this issue? Okay. Uh, the lawsuit says Hobby then put the entire school on lockdown. Students were confined to classrooms, hallways, and the gym. Their cell phones were taken away so they couldn't even call their parents. Um, and so... This is not looking good because uh, there is uh, a lawsuit filed by the parents of some of these students because they were they had their genitals touched. Um, in some cases, they had their you know clothes taken off or certain articles of clothing lifted in front of other students, and it was humiliating. I mean, this is a very clear abuse of power. So much so that the governor of Georgia had to intervene and suspend this guy. Yeah. Um, I think this is a consequence of our addiction to policing and mm -hmm. our addiction to the surveillance state. I mean, and just to even think back to my own high school experience, the fact that we had a cop on campus all the time, that most schools had a list of um, clothing that you couldn't wear because it was like gang affiliated, right? Like, like, like shoelace colors, right? Yeah, it's funny. At my school, um, we... We didn't have like the gang colors or anything, but it was more, there was way more emphasis on the way female students dressed, right? And so Always. if we can see your shoulders, you are a, you're, you're a harlot <laughs> and you, you must be taken to the, the principal's office, that kind of stuff. Um, but you're right, like we, we didn't have a police officer. We had like a, a really like jolly, like security guard guy named Jerry <laughs> that I have he fond memories nice. of. Right? He was really nice, but we never felt like we were on lockdown or being watched. We didn't we were we weren't treated as criminals. And I think when when students are treated this way, remember they're young, their brains are still developing. Yeah. It becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy, I think. Right, yeah. right, right, right. And there's ways. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead. No, I, I was just gonna say it we had an officer in uniform with his police car right in front of the entrance to the high school. Mm -hmm. So it's already priming our brains to expect that encounter with mm -hmm. the police. And that, again, not only criminalize, but you're on your toes because you think that you're, you can possibly do something wrong, right? Mm -hmm. Whether or not it is um, suspecting them of drugs they don't have, but putting them in positions where they're made vulnerable and suspected of, um, being a, a criminal, that's, I mean, when this starts young, like you said, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. It's also definitely part of a targeted effort to certain schools, like public schools. This doesn't happen at private schools. I don't right. see this happening at all. Absolutely, and I'm sure, it, I guess this all started with a complaint from either a set of parents who were concerned about drugs at the school, um, if you've narrowed it down to a list of 13 students, you can go talk to them and their <laughs> right, parents. Right, I'm sure right. that's what would have been done if the school were right. a private school, and that is, uh, you know, an assumption. Um, but there are ways of doing drug sweeps that are lawful, right? So th this is both, like, incompetence and an overreach. So drug sweeps, they bring the dogs in. They, you know, they, they don't pull students out of class. You don't interrupt 
Students are here to learn. That's right. Yeah. Right? So when you interrupt that process, it better be for good reason. This is not good reason. Um, and I just feel like with minors, there's issues of like consent, with their bodies being touched in terms of these searches. They're minors, exactly. Uh, so yes. it's just, it's wildly inappropriate. Um, yeah. <sighs> So I, I did a little more digging because I was I wanted to learn more about this sheriff. I wanted mm -hmm. to know if he had you know a record of complaints. You know, had he abused his power in the past? Mm -hmm. And I came across this little kernel of information that I wanted to share with you guys. Sounds let's like to, it's going to be juicy. It's good. Uh, let's go to graphic twenty nine. The sheriff now stands accused by the local prosecutor of interfering with the criminal investigation into his teenage son, <laughs> Zachary Lewis Hobby, who's 17. Mm. Uh, the younger Hobby was arrested on October 9th and charged mm. with felony possession of marijuana with intent to distribute and criminal trespass. Sheriff Hobby and his wife, who is also an employee of the Worth County Sheriff's Office, barged into the room ostensibly to invoke the 17-year-old's Fifth Amendment rights for him. So uh, he got involved. This in is more than juicy. <laughs> I mean, this is, come on. This is come like, on. This is, this is like the Republican twist to the story yeah, of being against much. trans rights and then being caught in a yeah, bathroom. Yeah, this is yeah. that twist. Yes. You needed to be searching your own house for <laughs> the drugs because that's apparently where they were. I mean, um, who knows? Yeah. And maybe, maybe that's the reason why he was so overzealous with these other students. Because maybe he looks at his son and he's like, "Oh, look at what my son got into. It's because of the influence of some other person." So I don't, I don't know. I'm doing pop psychology I, here. Yeah, I don't yeah, know but what that's I'm parenting. About. That's not right? like that's that's not. You don't, it's, 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 uh, you don't get to abuse your power um, right. and, and and treat other students that way. Um, and it's just it's amazing. Like he'll he'll stick up for his son, but he'll go ahead and strip search. Um, other innocent students who should be on campus to learn. You're absolutely right. It's students. a lot of people. Yeah. We're not the Young Turks, you're the Young Turks. You power this show. Together we built something amazing. We've broken stories like the Donna Brazil story, the mainstream media wouldn't break. We built the studio, we built this network. It's now number one, all thanks to you guys. Let's come build it even bigger and stronger. TYTnetwork.com slash join.